Hey everybody, it's been a while since I made a video. Uh, I got rid of my COVID haircut in the meantime, and AMD, after my last video was uh, helpful to people, sent me this cool shirt and another one, which I'll wear next time I make a video. One of my favorite shirts now, so thanks AMD. And uh, I think this time we're gonna do a video on like how do you get the the most you can get out of um, Cinebench. So like little tips that I use just to squeeze out some extra points. Some of you might know how to do this already. Uh, it's not that advanced. Uh, it's kind of like just running um, in safe mode with your computer, but not in safe mode. So we'll just go over it real quick. It It's basically setting the priority of the um, program to like real time in the scheduler of Windows and then like killing every process you can possibly kill on your computer um, that isn't necessary. So the CPU, or should I say, the, the computer doesn't have to do anything but run Cinebench. And it's kind of a cheesy thing, but you know, if you're trying to just max out your scores, it, it's helpful. So let's get started. I might just v record my screen. I know that's not the way to do things, but I'm gonna be killing so many apps that like OBS or whatever I decide to use to record my screen will not function anymore. So I may just flip the camera around and record the screen. So let's go see what you need to do for that. All right, I got Cinebench R23 open. This will be the control run. Uh, with all my normal taskbar stuff still running, fan control, uh, MSI afterburner, etc. I got my rain meter going, um, and I have my fans going pretty good on my cooler just to keep things cool, but I don't have like a crazy uh, powerful overclock on my main machine here because I'm just trying to keep everything super stable. So we'll see what we get. Also, my computer's pretty dusty in there. I gotta clean it out. All right, so we got 22,590. All right, we'll compare that to what we get after we turn a bunch of stuff off and uh, set the priority high. Okay, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is open Cinebench. Uh, I've found that if you start killing all the tasks on your machine before you open Cinebench, sometimes it won't even start. So open Cinebench, all right, go in your task manager. I'm gonna start just killing stuff, okay? Now this is just the basic stuff. We're gonna go close a lot more than this. All right. Okay, so then we're gonna open up task manager. Okay, so we have the task manager open. You're gonna to wanna to go to your services tab, sort by running services, and we're just gonna start killing services. And some of these you won't be able to stop because they're needed by the OS. And, and you just wanna stop as many as you can. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna go through this myself. I won't make you watch all of this. And I haven't done this in a while. I used to know exactly what services on my machine were the main offenders. So let, let's come back after I kill a bunch of these. Okay, so after you've killed a bunch of services, you'll notice if you go to the details tab now, a lot of these tasks are gone, or should I say these apps? And um, you can end some more that are left over and clean that out. And then what you want to do is you'll go into Cinebench and you want to set the priority to real time, okay? And that'll basically allow the processor to almost only work on Cinebench tasks when it's running. So once we start that, your screen will freeze almost because even like the, the display uh, won't be updated while Cinebench is running. So that's what real time does. Um, and the reason why you kill those services first is because a lot of these services, they'll monitor what's up. 
and they'll restart stuff. So like if you kill, I don't know, NVIDIA driver stuff, but the NVIDIA, NVIDIA service is still up, it'll just relaunch it. So you want to kill the services first, then remove anything that remains, and then close this. And by the way, you probably won't be able to start Task Manager again. In fact, you may not even be able to restart your computer properly at this point. So you'll have to like hard reset it perhaps. So, you know, do this at your own risk, I suppose. And then, and then you can run and you're gonna wanna start it and see if you can minimize it right away and let it run. And in a couple minutes, go check on it. Okay, so the run completed. And as you can see, we got 23.018, so definitely an improvement. I mean, it's not massive, but you're trying to just squeak out every little bit of performance you can here. So, um, so give it a shot, see if it works for you, and let me know in the comments if it did. Thanks.